I was good, y'all, today. I'm gonna be doing something that is just a little bit overdone, but I'm fucking tired of it being on my TikTok and me not trying it, man. I've been seeing it everywhere. That shit looks fucking amazing, but I just kept putting it off. I was like, you know what? Maybe they just exaggerated it. It's only like a couple people that are gonna do it, but no, bro, it's been like a month. It's been probably fucking longer and there's still people trying this shit. Chicharron with guacamole. Huh? So today I'm gonna be doing exactly that, but first we're gonna hit the gym. <laughs> A few inches later. Workout done. Now we're here to grab the ingredients. You know what I'm saying? Why you? Why you bullying me? First item located, lads. Chicharron carnudo. Big ass. Shit. What the fuck? Secure the bag, ladies and gentlemen. All right, we, we got the goods. Now we're gonna try it. So we got the chicharron right here, and we got the walk right here. So now we're gonna see what the. Fuck all this hype is about see if it even actually is worth it so here we go okay the guac is looking nice and guacky mm, nice i was actually Very gonna nice. say it looking nice and guacky <laughs> smells smells like chicharron you know like what chicharron would smell like, it smells like this is what it is big ass piece. <laughs> i've never actually had this before so this is the first okay so you gotta Damn. dip it in guac bro that is gas. Shit, shit, my bad, my ass. <laughs> Bro, this shit is gas. You know what's good if he says gas at the end of the sentence. <laughs> and that's it. That was funny. Bro, I see. Here, you could grab this one if you want. I see what the hype is about. This shit got me feeling like. <laughs> I'm gonna have Byron try it. Let's see. Did you f with it? Yeah, I'm mm -hmm. sorry. You can go for two if you want. Shit, you can go. Byron f it. Alright, John. This shit though, I'm not gonna lie, it was costly. This tub of guacamole was like $12, bro. I could have just made it at home, but you know, everybody is buying the store bought right, guac. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So just had to make sure, you know? But, mm hmm. There's some. Good. You want this was pretty good. Oh, yeah. This was a success. Honestly, I, I was, <laughs> I was, um, I was coming into this thinking like maybe people are over hyping it, over exaggerating it. But I'm not gonna lie, pretty good. Is this a thing that I would eat every single day? No. But is it a snack that I would have every now and then? So yeah, man. Shout out to TikTok. Oh, this should be coming up on my for you page all the time and i'm just like man i don't know if i want to try but yeah that, i feel like it makes for an interesting video i don't know i don't really get a lot of comments but whoever's watching this video if you would do me the favor of commenting down below if this was like interesting to watch at least let me know if you want to see more shit like this i'll get these two mother every single time and we're gonna go try out i don't know uh, covered in chocolate whatever what? you guys, whatever you guys want i feel like homemade guac would be better because i mean I, I love this guac don't get me wrong but i like my guac with a hint of like lemon and this has like no lemon hint at all this is pretty good i never had guac well not bad guac what the f i first time having guac pretty good really yeah. i just learned something new about john i thought we were just trying to chat but he's never had a guac before never had both pretty good i just realized we didn't even describe what it tastes like <laughs> I don't know what the shit tastes like. It's well, if you've ever had chicharron, it's literally like that. Like the chicharron is like that like you get like from a vendor or something. It's literally like that, but it has meat inside and it's very tender. I know it, it sounds like it's hard as f The initial crunch is kind of hard, but then once you chew it, it gets soft because of the meat inside. It's like salty, but it's not too salty. It's like a good amount of like saltiness. And then the guac, it, it's like, I feel like if you just ate the chicharron by itself, then your mouth would be really dry. But then when you dip it in the guac, it gives your mouth that like, um that like flavor that you're missing. And I, don't know, I don't know how to explain explain it that like yeah like that moisture and that freshness because it's like you know tomatoes and avocado and shit so i feel like it makes a really good combination like you know like a refreshing you know good tasting vegetable vegetables with like a crunchy salty <clears throat> chicharron yeah i think it's a really good combination i feel like tiktok wasn't capping there are some other that look like they're about to bust a nut when they eat it so they're over exaggerating but for the other ones that are just like oh this shit's actually really good that's facts i give this an eight out of ten what do you give it seven out of ten i'll give it eight point five 8.5 out of 10, not bad. But overall though, that shit was amazing. If you guys want to see more shit like this, let me know. Subscribe. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.